aging face that this world has forgotten. Mm, what is up, guys? And of course, welcome to the video from yours truly, that's Garander. And yes, Hydreigon did not get banned. If you haven't lived under a rock, which I have, <laughs> um, the voting for Hydreigon actually finished, meanwhile, at the demo of the Sun and Moon was out. Which is actually awesome, because that leaves me with a wheel room to talk about Hydreigon. I have praised it a lot before, mostly because it's a very, very powerful threat outside of UU. Hydreigon has been a part of UU since uh, since X and Y, really. People definitely talk about this like a stature and a kind of expected Pokemon in UU. It's been there forever, and it's been there because of its typing being, well, not walled out, but definitely easily threatened out by, of course, fairy types. And, um... The reason it kind of, well, the reason it actually got to the voting was because of, uh, well, it always has been a powerful threat. But we've seen a lot of Pokemon, both good and bad, come and go in Yu Yu by Dragon State. The Stallbreaker set, the one with Taunt, Roost, and Dark Pulse, Dragon Pulse, probably one that stands out the most, being the one that can actually one v one versus Sukun. Um, it was one of the better examples. Also Blissey. And it's just a Pokemon that Nessus do, do actually hurt and hurt a lot. Before that, of course, the spec set was a thing, Scoff set was the same thing. The reason people use the Scoff set was because the 98 speed in base power is not that good, not all the time at least. Having that said, it still is a high speed here, and definitely for a UU. But um, having that said, of course, the um, spec set is rarely used anymore due to the dropping, of course. Of Sylveon and Conkildur, and I do believe that's the reason it still are staying UU. While well, it was a close vote, of course, I do believe 77 voted it to stay, 71 voted it to go. So I do believe that leaves it with a 55% chance of actually uh, staying. So it, it was definitely split up here. But Hydreigon is not over centralizing the tier, at least not as much as it did for well half a year ago before, of course, Sylveon and Conkildur were dropping. So it was already back then a suspect, but you know, not one of the quicker ones, and you got more and more, um, or what I'm trying to say is that once the voting started, uh, there were ways of actually managing Hydreigon, which is both good and bad, because it meant, of course, that it stayed. Like I said, it's super viable, no you, has few issues, has less issues of course in UU. I mean, its special attack of 125 is kind of where it's at. It hurts a lot. A Dark Pulse from this guy hurts a lot. There weren't really that many fairies when this vote was going. I do believe Flodius was the only one. And that was, was kind of reason you want to go with Specs because Flodius is not as dangerous of risking the Draco as much as, of course, risking Draco against a Sylveon. Bringing Sylveon freely and go freely from Hyper Voice is um, it's much worse. Um, but yeah, Hydreigon has never been a broken model. And I haven't, like I said, over centralizing the tier too much, but it is probably one of the top more viable mon due to what it can do because it's a super versatile mon, of course, with having a plethora of offensive moves and also can be physical if it's forced to, and of course recovery and taunt. It's one of those mods that offensively can do so many things. Like I said, Stallbreaker, Spex Setter, Life Rebukes, or Expert Belt. It can pull that off and probably one of the better ones to do all of those Jack of Trades. It can even be defensive if you so desire. Do not use it defensive though. <laughs> but yeah, so I'd easily put it up there together with like I do believe Mega Aerodactyl, one of the most tougher Pokemon to deal with, like offensively threats shaking things, because this one is not as fragile either. Uh, it can switch in a good resistive move without being too hit KO'd, and like I said, with Roost, it's just back on track again. So I can see the reason why people are not liking to deal with it. I do believe it's quite tough to deal with with that in mind. But like I said, it have gotten options. Um, there are mons in this tier that actually can deal with it, at least to some extent. Like I said, AV Conkeldur do take it on. Sylveon, to some extent, take it on because Flash Cannon is the only effective move that could possibly hurt it, and it doesn't necessarily hurt Sylveon all that much in the first place. And um, of course, um, Mega Aggron is one of those mods that definitely can take it on. Um, so, so there are options, they're just not that many. And um, I will say that I do believe Hydreigon fits really, really nicely as a top threat in UU. I wouldn't have been overly disappointed if it gone to OU because it clearly has a function in that tier too, a very clear function at that. But um, seeing Hydreigon staying 
made me glad because that means I don't have to revamp a few of my UU teams. I'm just saying that that saves me some time. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much the size of things. I don't think I can fill this topic anymore. And the only thing I could say is that seeing that Aesil was banned, uh, which I didn't actually talk about that at all, not banned, it got moved up to OU. Uh, it should be noted that Hadragon is much, much more effective now because it doesn't have the risk of running into Dazzling Gleam Aesil, which was uncommon, but you should also know that due to the stallbreaker nature of Hadragon, that set became at least... at least it was sought after, because it could have potentially take on Hadragon 1v1 and kill it turn 1. So I feel like that's important to mention, but uh, as it is right now, Hadragon is a top threat, just not as big of a top threat as some other opponents has been in the tier. So that's all for me. Um, what are your experiences, of course, of Hydreigon? Uh, do you think it's a top threat in UU, or do you want to see, see it stay? Um, mention that in the comments below, of course, as always. And, you know, thank you so much for watching. And I see you in the next video. Until then, take care.